hey guys in this video i'm sharing the most delicious quesadilla recipe crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside seasoned to perfection so as you can see i got this minced chicken just right from the supermarket and if anyone wants to know i got it from naivas so we are going to begin by seasoning the chicken I'm going to start off by putting my garlic powder so this is just the list of the spices I use next I put um, a teaspoon of onion powder a teaspoon of paprika a half a teaspoon of cumin you know we don't want it to be like to overpower the taste of the chicken half a teaspoon of black pepper half a teaspoon of salt and then I'm going to add some vinegar because I don't really like the smell of chicken so this is going to help get rid of the bad odor and then I use like um, half a half cut lemon I'm gonna squeeze the juice off of that and then pour it right into my chicken then I'm going to proceed by completely mixing that chicken sorry not not mixing the chicken child this voiceovers are hard i mean proceed by mixing my spices into my chicken and make sure that it's completely mixed up and that all parts of the chicken are completely coated and covered with the spices as i was um mixing this i just realized that minced chicken is actually very soft so if you would buy um chicken breast and cut that into small cubes i think it would be much better or perhaps chicken thighs and cut that very thinly that would also mix very nicely but if you want like the stuffing to be very soft minced chicken is also fine you can do it as me i added a bit of oil so that it can help the spices to mix in completely and i completely mix that in mix 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 until i was completely satisfied so after mixing all the spices and everything we want to add into the chicken i covered this with a clean film and then i want to set it into the fridge for at least an hour so that the marination can set in but if you do have time guys just set it overnight but nobody got time for overnight So very quickly let me show you the ingredients I'm going to use for the stuffing. These are my vegetables and I have my capsicum and onion. These are the tortilla wraps that I'm using which I also again got from Naivas. The whole meal ones which are a bit healthier. My marinated minced chicken. I'm going to be using two kinds of cheeses which I'm going to grate later on. First I'm going to be using cheddar cheese which I again got from Naivas. I think it's much cheaper if you get block cheese and then grate it for yourself as the sliced one tend to be a bit more expensive. Next I'm going to start off by prepping my veggies and then yeah which I'm going to be using for the stuffing. I chop up my onions and my capsicum. Um, someone would be thinking would I really need all of these? Um, I think it's just like you can use whatever you want and and then i'm gonna be working on my cheese so i'm grating it and as you can see it had a bit of like um i don't know what was that on the side so i just cut it off and then i grated my cheese look at that the yellow and the gold so pretty and then i'm now going to proceed to cook my filling so i have two pots so that i can save on time one i'm going to be sauteing the vegetables and in both pans, I did add a little bit of oil and then in the other one, I did add my minced chicken. So it's just a matter of killing two birds with one stone. And this, this, this quesadilla is actually, you can just um, make them when you're having friends over or you just want to um, make a quick like snack, you can make this. And it's good to actually try different recipes and see what you like and what you don't like. Personally, I was like, girl... Is this really worth it to record because i'm like it's so easy and people would perhaps know how to make this but it's good that you know you never know who might need this recipe 
and I would actually appreciate if you guys would like, hit that subscribe button and keep the conversations going in the chat section. So my vegetables are cooking over here. I'm not even going to add anything, just a sprinkle of salt and um, not too much. I just added um, salt and then I'm going to mix that in and if you can, and a bit of black pepper obviously. Those are like the two main spices that like at the base for not for not having your food bland you know and then i added a bit of paprika because i love me my paprika and then i'm gonna saute if you can't flip the pan like me it's fine you can use your spatula or whatever equipment you have i'm gonna add some more oil to the chicken because um the minced chicken as i told you before is rather soft so it tends to absorb oil very quickly so um unlike minced meat where you would actually boil the meat first this chicken um i preferred not to boil it because i really want it crispy and i don't really think i've actually boiled um chicken before so i don't minced chicken to be precise not the whole chicken so i don't know how it, it would turn out so in this case, I'm just on low heat. I'm going to keep stirring my chicken until it's completely cooked thoroughly all over because we do not want food poisoning. And yeah, cooked food just tastes great. And oh my gosh, you guys, these voiceovers. Ah, support a girlie's content, yo. Now that my vegetables are completely cooked, I'm just going to set that aside and I'm going to use that later and then fully concentrate on the chicken as you can see. It's completely cooked now. Perfectly, it's completely like, um, like it looks like very fine. It looks like actually scrambled eggs, honestly, but it's the texture of chicken. If you're listening to this as you're doing something else and want to have a rough idea of how the recipe is going to turn out, so in another pot, I'm going to set it on medium heat so that it can heat up and that's where I'm going to be browning my tortilla wraps and my chicken is now ready. Look at that. Yum. It looks so great, you guys. It actually looks like scrambled eggs. And then I'm going to take a bit of the chicken because this was like um, a 1 kg and it was a bit much since we were just sharing among us three people. So I'm just going to use half of that. You know the crispy edges on the bottom whenever you're cooking something? That is where all the yumminess is and I'll just scrape that off and then I'm going to mix it in with my vegetables because this is the stuffing, you guys. And yeah, I'll just mix that in and then I'm going to be stuffing it into my peppers. So you remember I had set aside the veggies, so I mixed in the chicken and then I put it on medium heat so that it can heat up once more. Guys, this is what the veggies and the chicken look like when it's um, mixed up and it looks yummy and it smells great as well. So let's proceed to stuff our tortilla up. So on a pan, I'm going to add some oil and then I'm going to use a paper towel to 
um, scrape off that oil so that we don't have any excess oil it's not very demure it's not very classy so I'm gonna take my paper towels and I'm gonna scrape off the excess oil scrape it off scrape it off guys it's not really necessary you can use butter if you want as well I'm gonna place a whole meal tortilla wrap and then I'm gonna stuff my tortilla so yeah you can do it both ways you can start by putting your cheese in the bottom and then adding your veggies and your chicken or beef if it's beef you're using and then again tortilla on the top sorry not tortillas i meant cheese and then and then you now cover with your tortilla on the top guys there's actually two ways you can do this you see how i've used one tortilla wraps you can put the veggies and cheese on one side and then flip the tortilla so that it's just complete like that or you can do it like me you can just put your veggies in the center and then you just leave you see how i've left like an inch of no stuffing towards the edge yeah and then you put another tortilla on the top i added a bit of barbecue sauce this is my own homemade barbecue sauce and you're gonna see it in the next recipe so stay stay tuned for that but i'll also put the description of the barbecue sauce in the description so yeah you can check it out if you want then press that so and then i'm gonna flip that and then put cheese on the other side as well and then cover it and then let that melt completely so guys um this is just um me doing the same process for the same way i did for all the tortillas i'm gonna put my tortilla wrap and then i'm gonna put my stuffings and then i'm gonna put my cheese and my barbecue sauce then flip that and then put cheese and then cover it again and then cover with um just use anything to cover you can use even a plate and then let that cheese melt and then off the pan it goes so yeah this is just the same um procedure i used and then a bit of oil on the top of the tortilla and then i'm going to proceed to cover that so that the cheese can actually melt and you're gonna have a cheesy quesadilla cheesy barbecue chicken quesadilla so yum yes so now that i've finished cooking all my quesadillas i'm gonna place them somewhere and then using a serrated knife so that it doesn't break I'm gonna be slicing my quesadillas and you guys the beautiful the inside is so beautiful um yes chicken the stuffing the cheese the yummy goodness and everything i'm gonna set it aside and i'm gonna eat this right now because you eat it while it's still hot and yes i'll just cut all the quesadillas and yeah voila and bon appetit guys make sure to hit that subscribe button like comment share and write in the comment section each other recipes you would want to see so until next time ciao